Alright, what's good YouTube? Boss Money here from Shadrack News. So I'm going to do another little continuation off my last video. And while I'm down in this uh, Terra Town, South Shore part, I'm going to show you guys where uh, GBE Capo got killed. So Capo, his real name was uh, Marvin Carr. He was one of these dudes. He was affiliated with both uh, No Limit and uh, Chief Keef GBE. I think he was from this area, Terra Town, but he, uh, he was just he was Chief Keef's cousin too. So he was one of them dudes that was affiliated with both. He was very close with both sides too, which is... It was crazy, man, because when he got killed in uh, summer 2015, Lil Herb was like, he wasn't as big as he is now, that's for sure. So it, it kind of sucks. He didn't really get to see uh, Herb's, like, rise to the top and shit, man, because Herb is big now, man. So was Bibby, man, both of them, man. Shout out to both of them, man, for real. They might even pass Keith up right now. Like, Herb just dropped that uh, who, that who run it shit, man. Like, he, he buzzing hard right now, man. Same with Bibby, but uh, shout out to both of them. So, yeah, man, it's sad. Um... Cause fucking Capo definitely fucking uh he had his uh he had potential too man but either way he made he was chilling out in LA all the time man like he was definitely connected but uh we're gonna go down on 77th and Kingston that's where he got shot there's actually a video of uh right after he got shot it's sad man I ain't gonna post that shit uh it's online though it's just it's it's I, I hate watching shit like that man he was just bleeding on the sidewalk clinging clinging to life man like taking his last breaths and shit it's fucked up man. That's why if I was him, I would have never came back to Chicago. I would have stayed my ass out in L.A. But, uh, yeah, this is the sidewalk right here at the corner of uh, 77th and Kingston. Somewhere right along the sidewalk, man. I'm not sure exactly where, but no farther than that yellow sign, man. Somewhere, like, literally right here. But, yeah, man. Uh, it's just fucking, I don't know. It was a drive-by, I guess. I don't know how far away they were. It's just... You can't take chances, man. Nowadays, fucking someone can shoot from like a half mile away, man. They get lucky and you get hit in the head, upper body, man. It's just, you can't take that chance, man. You can't give some Bruford ass goofy nigga fucking the benefit and let him cloud up like that. You just can't, man. Just stay your ass. And if you got some money, man, fuck Chicago. They ain't shit out here, man. There ain't, ain't nothing. But, uh, yeah, man. So let's zoom out, too, because after they killed Capo, dumbass fucking getaway driver hit a baby up on 63rd, so. Somehow they must have uh, cruised down, got a, cruised down seventy seventh, got on Stony Island. This is just speculation, and then uh, started heading uh, west on sixty third, and then somewhere up here, right on Ellis, the driver somehow uh, lost control and fucking veered in the other lane, went right through this little, uh, went right through the sidewalk, man, and hit some baby right here, right at the corner of sixty uh, third and Ellis. But yeah, man, this, he killed some fucking baby, too, so now they really fucked. I think the baby's name was Dylan Harris, if you want to look it up, the articles and shit. Um, I'm not sure what the dude's name was. There, was some, there were some youngins from Lakeside, I think, some GDs just trying to cloud up, man. Some dummies, ain't even no one big. But, uh, yeah, man, I just wanted to get this one out of the way. I know you guys be asking soon, but uh, RIP to Capo, man. Like I said, until next time, man, stay safe out there, Chirac, man. It's your boy, uh, Chirac News. I'm out.